Maths Made Easy. Tuition, revision, success. Hi Rachel, are you ready to start? Hi Jo, ready when you are. Okay, so last week we were looking at circle facts. So this afternoon I thought we would review what we did last week and see what you can recall and then we'll take it from there. Does that sound okay? Yeah. Am I alright to use my notes for this? Yes, of course. If you can do it without notes, that, that's great, but do use your notes if you need to. So what we're going to start with is a, a matching exercise. Can you see the purple shapes on the screen? Yeah. Um, if you choose one and then try to find its partner and click on them, if you correct, you should see a matching shape underneath. So ready when you are? Okay. So a radius is a straight line from the circumference to the centre of the circle. Great, you've got a matching pair. Where next? So the formula for area of a circle yes. is pi r squared. Yes, well done. And next? The shape of a sector is this one at the top. Great, well done. And another? And then the shape of a segment is this one at the bottom. Super, well done. Keep going. So the formula for circumference of a circle yes. is pi d. And what does d stand for? The diameter. Good, well done. And next? So the formula for area of a sector is theta over 360 times pi r squared. Good, and what does theta refer to? It's the point of the angle in the centre of the circle. Yes, it's, it's the size of the angle at the centre, yes. It's the size of the angle at the centre of the circle in the sector. Next one. So the formula for arc length. Yes is theta over 360 times pi d. Great, well done. Well, we've only got one pair left, so they should be a match. Yep. Perimeter of a sector, add in the two radii. Well done, that was excellent recall from last week. So let's try and apply some of those facts now. Okay. So here we have a sector. You can see that it has a radius of eight centimeters. Yep. And the angle at the centre is 102 degrees. So, can you remember the formula for the area of a sector? Uh, yeah, theta over 360 times pi r squared. Okay, let's have a look and see if that is correct. Great, well done. So do you want to now substitute in the values and you can write those in the next column? Yeah, so it'd be 102 yes. over 360 yes. times pi yes. times 8 squared. Great, and if you pop those into your calculator and then pop your answer in the final column to two decimal places. Okay, so... It will be 56.97 centimetres squared. 56.97 centimetres squared. And why is that a squared unit? Because it's the area of it. Great. Well done, Rachel. OK, let's try the arc length. Can you remember the formula here? Um, not too sure. Could I have a hint? OK. Which parts of it can you remember? Uh, theta over 360. Okay, and if you remember that the arc length is part of the circumference. Time. What's the formula for the circumference? Diameter times pi diameter. Yes. Well done. Let's just check that we've got the right one. Perfect. So substitute your values in. So it would be 102 over 360 yes times pi times 16 16 so how did you arrive at 16 so the diameters double the radius great well done yes 
So what's the answer then that needs to go in the final column? Pop that into your calculator. Yeah. So it's 14.24 centimetres. OK, and just remembering that when we're talking about decimals, we say the individual digits, so 14.24 centimetres. And why is this one centimetres? Because it's just the length, it's not an area. Of Perfect, that's it. Well done, Rachel.